Hey friends, just wanted to touch base with you real quick about Wednesday nights. Um, first, I wanted to thank you. Gosh, we've had this incredibly interesting weather <laughs> over the last few weeks. Um, but I wanted to let you know how much I appreciate the investment that you make in these kids. A lot of you have served quite a long time, and I appreciate that consistent, loving investment that you make in their lives. Uh, I hope you do know that it impacts more than just them. It impacts their whole family for Jesus Christ. So thank you. And um, I think uh, a unique challenge that we have on Wednesday nights is we attract all kinds of kids. We have kids who come regularly on Sunday mornings that typically behave well. We have kids who uh, come who don't behave so well. We have brand new kids, and our mix is always changing on Wednesday nights. So I think that makes discipline particularly interesting. And tag teaming with Celeste in the kindergarten and first grade class, I see that firsthand. So I was just reflecting on a couple things that I try to do uh, very imperfectly, but I just wanted to share them with you. First of all, um, I want to encourage you to be confident when you um, are disciplining the kids uh, with the expectation that they will do what you ask them to do. An example for me, um, in kind of a different way, is occasionally I'll go and I'll hold one of the babies in the nursery on Sunday morning who's crying. And I just kind of say to myself and pray, you know, God help me to be confident so that this child can be comforted. So I'm coming in with the expectation that they will be comforted. And I think the same is true when I try to get their attention and work with them in the large group and small group setting. I'm asking God to help me be confident because he's in me that the kids will do what I ask them to do. So I use a whole variety of things. That God is good all the time. I use different motions with my hands. I tell silly stories. I have a bag of tricks that I've developed over time that I use. I would encourage you to continue to do that and be confident when you ask those kids. And then expect them to behave well. Um, don't let them get away with constantly speaking over you or being disrespectful, not participating in the activities. If that happens continually, you can let me know. I would encourage you to let the parents know. But we want all the kids who are coming on Wednesday nights to appreciate and enjoy the opportunity they have to learn and have fun and grow in faith. And finally, um, if you could try to make it a point each week to look at your lesson plans by Monday and send Carolyn, carolynj2911 at gmail.com, uh, uh, a list of the things that you need. You could even scan it if you have a scanner and just check off the things that you need from that list that saves her time and enables her to do other things that are really important in our children's ministry as well. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you soon.